The inquest into the death of 23-year-old Roy Butler has heard it is Johnson & Johnson's case that there is insufficient evidence to establish a causal link between a brain bleed and their COVID-19 vaccine. The talented Waterford footballer died from catastrophic intracranial bleeding five days after getting the jab. On day two of the inquest, the court heard that Johnson & Johnson has received 60 reports of brain hemorrhage globally, including that of Roy Butler. Giving evidence, their medical safety officer, Dr. Louis Humberto Anaya Verlade, seen here wearing glasses, said an investigation was triggered after the vaccine manufacturer received up to 400 reports of brain bleeding in adults aged 18 to 50, but it concluded that there was not enough data to determine a link. The Butler family's defence counsel, Kira Davin, made the argument that there is a likelihood that there were cases of intracranial bleeding that were excluded from the investigation. She cited the 160 cases whose conditions were categorised as unknown in the report. During cross-examination, Dr Anaya Verlade also said the company did not know how many people have died as a result of the vaccine. Meanwhile, on the death of Roy Butler, he said he believed the post-vaccine symptoms he experienced and his brain hemorrhage may have been two separate events. In text messages sent to family and friends in the four days after he received the vaccine, Mr Butler said he had headaches, jaw and neck soreness, felt groggy and was sweating. Yesterday, Mr Butler's family told the court that all they want is the truth over how this fit and healthy young man died. The inquest is set to conclude tomorrow after it hears evidence from the assistant state pathologist. Maxine Bramley, Virgin Media News Corp.